Hey everybody, my name is Gamma Chief, and of course, we're back with more FNAF World Hard. Uh, just saying off FNAF World Easy, or Normal, I guess, or just regular FNAF World, will be uploaded, uh, after this video. Uh, after this video, we'll have three episodes on Hard and three episodes on uh, Normal. So yeah, uh, I have rearranged my teams, and I also did get the marionette off screen. Um... So yeah, my first team consists of Bonnie as a dammer, da, 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 damage slash healer. Uh, Toy Chica is my healer, whether Bonnie is a damage, and then Marionette is just one hit kill character or support character. And then my second team consists of Foxy, um, the damage, uh, Chica healer, uh, Phantom Angle damage, and. Uh, Phantom Freddy as the debuff for the um, opponent. So, yeah, cool. Because you can never have too much Foxy. Always remember that. You can never have too much Foxy. Um, so, we are actually in the cave. So, let me show you what uh, the marionette can do. Uh, Alright, so he has Prize Ball, which is a random high tier attack. Mystery Box, which I never use. And then Escape Key. Chance to kill multiple enemies. So let's try it. Nope, didn't work that time. Well, stay strong. It'll work eventually. Birthday is to increase our uh, speed. High beam. Let's try again. Escape key. Nope. Oh wow, that hit for hard. High beam. So, you know, I beam is now doing 100 damage. So, yeah. Boom! Escape key killed him. Done. Just like that. Boom. So, let's actually go out and uh, go up there. Boom, 1,000 damage with, um, with a crit or, uh, I-beam. That's the good thing about I-beam, it can crit and do 1,000 damage and insta-kill one of these enemies. That's cool. Oh, didn't work that time. Oh, dead? <laughs> Man, that better level up. He's at level zero at this point. Literally just got him not too long ago. And we also I know I know we're kinda over flooding the market with FNAF World, but we are going to be doing a third FNAF World series, as you may already know, with me and John and John playing. And he hasn't been watching my videos because well at least I don't think he has. And if he has, he hasn't tell, told me. Um and we're gonna be playing it together and he's gonna be playing and I'm tr gonna try to not give him any hints and we he will be deciding what mode we're doing so so into the rock we go all right okay we're looking for a glitched object let's go up I don't. I can never remember the direction that we have to go. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, and then we got the weird wavy one. I actually hate the look of this one the most. All right, back up we go. I like the look of this one though. All right, and then back out. Put it back in the box. All right, let's save. Now, have we gotten all the clocks so far? That I know of, I believe we've gotten all the clocks. I know I got the first one, and I know I got the second one. I know I got the, okay, I, oh, cool. Phantom Foxy, all right. 
for the Bastion. Escape you. Also, I didn't know about this, but I looked it up, why that pearl is floating there, and I was like, and it said, oh. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Cool. Oh, okay, yeah, that's in a different, that's in a different area. That's actually where we need to go next. Um, okay. Done. Uh, yeah, let's go talk to this guy. Derpy Fredbear. It's actually it actually is Fredbear. You've reached Lily Deer Lake. From here, I don't know where your adventure will take you. You should be keeping your eyes open for another cushed object. They are the only way to get to places that are otherwise unreachable. Be careful in the waters of Lily Deer Lake. I hear there is a sea monster that attacks at random. Be ready to fight. Good luck. All right. Yes, well, everything attacks at random, doesn't it? The one who pulls the string is always watching. He's allowing he's allowing you to proceed. Follow the trail that they have created for you. Play along. There's another mine that you must enter before you find the glitched object. Find the clock. Okay. Apparently we have to go into another mine to find the next glitch object. Well, I mean not glitch object. Um, to find the next, the next, you know, thing. Seaweed. Escape key. Man, didn't hurt anything. Alright, let's cupcake, bash, uh, let's wheel. Let's give the other team a chance here. Okay. Pizza wheel too. Jump scare. Buff their attack. Pizza wheel too. Choppy's Woods, and then we must go Okay, it does show the clocks on the map We know it doesn't, it doesn't show that one That's strange I would show it on the first one, but not on the um. Okay, so he told us to enter the mine to find the clock, so the clock's gotta be in here. Somewhere. Boom, dead. The Reaper is awesome, by the way. So anyway, like I was saying earlier, I didn't finish this, um... I looked up why the pearl was there, and apparently, if you get the pearl five times or more in the fishing game, it is permanently a fight for you and heals you. So I was, was I said, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, that's a pretty normal reaction too. I have an extra bite that heals me, and it's a fifth one doesn't take up a slot. Woo! Kill it. Metal man. This is revenge. Boop. Oh, 
Dandy. I assume that that was marrying that level up. All right. I'm really just looking for the clock and I want to progress. Man, I don't really want to fight four of these guys right now, but okay. Escape key, yes. It's good for picking off a large boat. Are you kidding? Wait, none of them hit. Oh, I'm getting damaged. Hey, we killed one of them. That's more XP than you get for the new enemies in the new area. Strange. Considering these are the same enemies in the old area. With not <laughs> Nightmare Bonnie's a good character. I've used them. Uh, I don't want. Why did I click on party again? Chips. There we go. Okay. Seven hundred XP or something like that. That's a lot higher than I expected. Russian swashbuckler is playing code name Rokli, okay. I believe this is that must the path, yeah.
pretty much my trip set up for the entire game is that until I get the block jump scare and the counter bite chip. One of those insta kills would kill. Got gold, ready. Oh, yeah, I remember. Golden Freddy's a great stall character. Here, I want to test this out for a little bit. I'm gonna get rid of Toy Chica because Bonnie can be a healer, and I already got like what? What is it? How many healing bites? Two heal. Sorry, I have three healing bites. Let's just do that. Something's on the clock. So look like the clock can be anywhere. That's torch. It'd be pretty convenient for it to be right there. What's that? Oh, I'll be, I'll be right back. Oh, hey guys, this is just in Phantom Chica over here. And, uh, yeah, cool fight. Does he know? Oh, no. Hello. Mother. Did your friend no. John ditched me. Ditched you? Wow. Outrageous. I know, right? Everybody, we are back, and uh, yeah, time to get the clock. Get it. Nine two eight seven four six three nine five two four eight and a one five three four five eight. Don't know what those numbers mean, but they may be hexademic. Uh, I don't know what they're called. Hexademic, decimal. Uh, uh, but they might be color codes. Like I mean, that's what it was with the. Uh, wall tile code in uh, FNAF 3 and those might be actually what that that is I think one of them actually was the wall tile code three um Sigoon. oh my god yeah, apparently haunting doesn't work on him Woo! 
There's a little circle and it teleports you to another spot, and yes, yeah, there it is. It teleports you to another spot, and then at that spot, from there, you can go into the But you can't go anywhere from there, so. Nope. Nope. Uh, that's them. Oh, 1,211. Oh my god, that did so much damage. Marion, that you are awesome. <laughs> I can't believe it actually casted that. It casted Freddles. It casted Freddles. That is awesome. All right. Uh, shopping here. We'll easily destroy. All right, let's save and go in. Usually later in the game you don't want to go into the fire things right away. Yes, you glitch tree. And then boom. Which it will lead to the nightmare place. Yes, go the black to area there's only one more to go that I know of all right this is a horribly spooky place I think I'll stay right here you however need to keep going this is a graveyard for, for broken and unwanted creations it's full of nastiness and traps I don't think everything here is as it seems check the graves and the trees this whole place is full of illusion One thing is true, nothing here is as it seems. Seems. You need to find another clock, but the passage will not be easy. There is a secret sub-corridor that leads to the pinwheel circus under this graveyard. Find the clock. Everything else is a deception. Alright, and I think that we should end the episode off there. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Chief out!